I'm, I'm a layer queen. Like, I like to layer on these scents and just make sure that I smell good all day. Like, 24-7. You know what I'm saying? They really did their big one when they came out with this one. And I talk about this all the time. And I'm going to keep talking about it because y'all need to know. It works. That's what y'all not understand. And it works. Mwah. No bars. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in as you can tell by the caption and the thumbnail today We are going to be talking about my simple everyday hygiene routine The very first thing that I do want to talk to y'all about is not about these products Let's get into some real tea The main thing that you want to focus on as far as hygiene is what you're consuming Make sure that you're consuming a ton of water at least a gallon of water a day just to make sure you're flushing out any toxins and to help that kitty area as well. A lot of people don't know, but yogurt is a natural probiotic, so you can go ahead and make sure you're eating that yogurt every day. I would just say to make sure you drink cranberry juice. You don't have to drink cranberry juice every day, but make it a part of what you drink for the week, period. Like I would just highly recommend that. As far as um, eating, again, like I said, yogurt, but then also make sure you're consuming fruit and vegetables. The fruit that I would mainly focus on is consuming pineapples, but then also consuming like apples and stuff like that. That area balanced. Everybody knows that we're going to have discharge at any point in time. Discharge matters like what it actually looks like, what it smells like. And honestly, discharge is normal. It kind of picks up a little bit before you start your period, so that is normal as well. So in this case, you are what you eat. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just telling you. So I do have a regular skincare um, routine, and I really, really love using these products right here. But there are certain times when I would use a product and when I wouldn't. And let me just get into it and quit ramble. I do have dry skin. I really like when these products kind of explain what it is and what it's used for. So this right here, they'll tell you that this is good for dry to very dry skin. But three central ceramides in there with squalene oil and hyaluronic acid. This has my skin super hydrated and so glowy. Like I absolutely love using this product. I did my skincare routine today and like girl speaking of cleaning i kind of wanted to tell y'all like on a day that like i'm wearing makeup i would do like a two-step process if you will and it's just because i don't want to do too much with like these makeup wipes using makeup wipes like will drag your skin it's bad to like be like scrubbing in your face like that like scrubbing 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 trying to get this makeup off that's why i don't like using makeup wipes it's a hassle for me i ain't gonna lie to you so let me tell you how i do it i will take some coconut oil and i use this organic coconut oil by simple um simple truth organic so i'll go ahead and use this put it all over my face while the makeup is on yes babe while the makeup is on rub it all over my face get it good in there like literally eyebrows everything like mascara everything okay just wipe all over then i will go in with a warm towel and i'll take the towel and wipe all of the um coconut oil off when i tell y'all i tell y'all that makeup come off like it's butter makeup will come off like butter baby butter so you just wipe it all off go in with this hydrating um cream to foam cleanser it also has um, this it's almost the same exact thing that my um, oil cleanser has, but it doesn't have squalene in it. It has amino acids in there, which is really, really good. And so you'll go in and cleanse that area. And it's telling you that it, it removes makeup without disrupting the protective skin barrier. For me, again, I do have dry skin. I don't got time to be stripping down. And scrubbing down on my face to get this makeup off it's really gonna mess my skin up and my skin is sensitive and it's dry so it's like I can't I can't do it so anyways this is really good at removing makeup this is absolutely amazing highly recommend okay but that's 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 the steps that I do to get the makeup off I only exfoliate my skin about three times per week that's the recommended time that you would exfoliate your skin anyways um, and for me I'm in Michigan and it's winter time so it's not as bright outside as it normally would be so honestly around these times I would use this exfoliator in the morning if I'm doing my skincare routine or at night whichever like whichever way I end up using this product I end up using it but I don't do it morning and night I would either choose which one and then like I said I want to only do it up to three times per week on a regular like sunny day you would want to avoid doing this in the morning or if you do use this product go ahead and make sure that you 
factor in sunscreen because this this does make your skin more prone to sunburn if you do use it in the daytime and it's super sunny out but this is the dr dennis gross i absolutely love this product my girl kyra put me on like years ago and i've been using it ever since and when i tell you it does exactly what it's supposed to do i don't use this again all the time i do normally have like texture on my nose and i don't have texture on my nose right now obviously because i've been using this but then also exfoliating um with this and i'm telling y'all like this is really a game changer if you have acne they do have an extreme kind that you can purchase for those that do have more of a cystic acne um, that really gets in there really really good this has about five different AHAs and BHAs in there that goes in and penetrates the skin to go ahead and get the acne out and exfoliate your skin they're calling it a daily peel but to be completely honest I have not gotten to a point where a week later or three days later or four days later that my skin actually peeled but I feel like it's doing what it needs to do within the process of you actually doing it. So this is a two-step system and it, it's like, it takes five minutes for you to do it. If that, I don't even, not even five minutes, but if that, it's under five minutes. Okay, so this, I would actually use this to cleanse my face. This is a scrubber, so it's really, really good and it's a great exfoliator. Um... Well, it's a great cleanser, I would say. It's not super exfoliating, but it does get in there to cleanse your face really, really good. I love the fact that it has these little places where you can stick your finger in, and it goes like this. And it's super convenient when you're cleaning your face like that. Absolutely love this. I will put that in the link down below. Just letting y'all know any links that I do put in the description box does give me a commission. So if y'all in the business of getting your girl paid, I love you. Thank you so much. But if not, then you can go in and type it into Amazon and you can purchase yourself um, without using the link. So I just, I just had to give y'all a disclaimer. I absolutely love this. I got this probably a few years ago and I would probably use this on days when I'm feeling a little bit more fancy and I got a little bit more time and I'm looking for a deeper exfoliation exfoliation so this is a nice um brush that they do have and it's it's pretty soft but it goes in and it exfoliates really really well so there's just an on and off button and this is what it looks like and this actually has like three different heads to it so it has a bigger one that exfoliates your body so it's a body head um it's an exfoliating one and it's just a regular cleansing one that is about the same size as this one um and this one is the exfoliating one so I will put this down in the description box below too. You can actually get this from Amazon. After I get done with cleansing and if I did do the exfoliation peel or whatnot, I would go in with my serum. So it would be this True Skin Serum, which is so good. It has vitamin C and it has vitamin E in there with hyaluronic acid. If you know, you know, but hyaluronic acid is really, really good for hydrating the skin. Again, I do have dry skin, so I want to keep my skin as hydrated as possible. And hyaluronic acid gives you a little plump, if you get what I'm saying. So it brings the water to the top of your skin, giving your skin a nice glowing look, as well as with this vitamin C in there. Girl, I'm telling you right now, skin is on what? Like, on glow. I would go on with a moisturizer. So the moisturizer is the Ultra Repair Cream. And I've talked about this so many times on my channel, it's crazy. For those of you that do have dry skin and you're dealing with eczema, like I normally deal with eczema, um, this is the best cream that I found to help combat those two in one um, this far. I'm telling you, like thus far, this is what it's helped me. Um, it does have collodial oatmeal in there. And if you don't know, collodial oatmeal actually helps to stop the intense itchiness of the eczema. It just stops it from being inflamed. Collodial oatmeal pretty much calms down the eczema. And then this um, cream actually just helps to moisturize your whole face. And I absolutely love this. I've been using this probably since 2018. So it's been years I've been on this bad. Throughout the time period, the consistency has been the exact same I, they have not even changed their formula i don't believe because it's been doing this big one last but not least i wanted to talk about bio oil so when i do go through times where i do have acne and i'm trying to clear it up by using that dr dennis grow healing solution so i'll use the universal daily pill but then i'll also make sure that i go in with bio oil every single time i do a cleanser rather i'm doing the pill or not like i'm using this every single time until the acne disappears and until the bruising disappears but i tell y'all right now that this bio oil is really the goat like 
really the goal like this really my baby i loved buying the bigger bottle so the bigger bottle is like a little over twenty dollars so it is a little bit more expensive but it worked like it works that's what y'all not understand and it works but in the mini beauty bar they do have like the mini kind that's like in a bottle that's like this and it's normally like six dollars and 99 cents so i feel like you know if you're i'm gonna see if they do have a cheaper one on amazon and if they do i'll link it for you babe. so the next thing that we can get into is oral care i want to get that out the way real quick so this is the crest premium plus scope with whitening and when i tell y'all this toupee has my breath fresh all day it doesn't have a bad taste to it no other toothpaste have i ever used that was like as like fresh as this this toothpaste so i absolutely love this regular toothbrush i do not first of all i don't have one of those automated like automatic toothbrushes um i know you can change out the head in them but it's just like i'm pretty sure it could be a hassle like trying to find the head of a toothbrush that goes to that specific toothbrush and then if that model is like gone out of style or something you gotta re-up like buy a whole nother one i'm not even on that type of time with the money train i'm not so i really just would rather go with a regular toothbrush and i change these out often this their breath first of all this their breath i was using scope crest to the to the um i was using what the heck i was using coast what i was using crest scope mouthwash for forever until like i seen one of the girls post this and i was like oh well let me just see what it's about because it's claiming that it's good for 12 hours and it's saying um it doesn't have any alcohol no burning and it starts working instantly it's ph balance it kills odor causing bacteria and when i was reading it, i'm like okay girl let me see what the hype is about and i tell y'all i have not put this down since i used it and that was probably about eight months ago that i started using this and this is my favorite invigorating icy mint i use the grin i actually just bought some more i be putting these up in like a certain area in my hygiene closet but um i just bought these so yeah i use grin um double twice the clean this is so freaking good for my teeth i never use a floss pick that was like this this is very unique um and so i wanted to try it out and I have not tried any other toothpick or floss after I use this. Like, okay, so now on to feminine hygiene. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, sis. I would normally use this Honey Pot Sensitive uh, Foamy Wash. I absolutely love this. This is on a regular day, um, honestly. And I love it because it's pH balanced to 3.5 to 4.5 because that's a natural pH balance of our hoo-ha, our kitty. You know what I'm saying? And then um, this minimizes odor, but it's gentle and non-irritating. It is gynecologist approved, so I absolutely love this. I never had any problems using this product. Honey Pie is really that girl. I do use this for my backdoor area, and y'all might think I'm crazy. <laughs> y'all might think I'm insane, okay? But I'm telling you, this right here, it just has that, the backdoor area just super, super fresh. Like, super fresh, super clean, no odor all freaking day. I'm really not lying to y'all. Like, I'm not lying. So, this is really, really good. I love this. So, I use this for my backdoor area. Um, I do use this for other things, so I'll just, I'll tell y'all later on. Another thing that I do want to talk to y'all about is this. So you can either use this or you can use like a peri bottle or something like that. I'll put the picture up here for y'all. But I actually use this when I'm going through a time period where I have a lot more discharge. Like I said, when it's getting closer towards my period and it's just... It is getting to be a little bit too much and it doesn't smell bad but i just want to rinse that area so i would actually use this and all i use is just water i know this looks like um a, like a dish from like summer's eve or something what i do is i'll purchase that like if i don't have time to like go get a peri bottle or i can't find it i'll go ahead and purchase this and i'll get all of the contents out of it because you can open it like literally you can open it and fill it up with whatever I go ahead and get the contents out, clean it out, and I'll just put water in here, and that's how I'll rinse that area. Um, I'm telling y'all right now, this is a game changer. Like, if you don't have this, you need to get this. This helps to rinse that area. Just use water, and you good, sis. I'm going to talk about shaving. This is something that I love to talk y'all about. Whether y'all shave, whether y'all wax, whether y'all use Nair or V or whatever. So, for one, make sure that you're exfoliating whatever area. Get the hairs that was in those bumps 
out so you can actually clean up that area a little bit better. Okay, that's one. You can clean up that area after you're done. You could use this, this 10 skin solution. I absolutely love using this. Even when I do like dermaplaning on my face or like I get a wax on my face or anything like that, um, underarms, wherever, I go ahead and apply this. Um, I don't use a lot because you don't really need a lot of this 10 skin solution, but it's really, really good to stop ingrown hairs um, if you have any razor bumps or after you shave or wax. So this is really the holy grail. I don't have any like bumps or anything after I use this. I'm not playing. <laughs> I'm so serious. Especially if you're going to use it for your private area, just use a little bit. Don't use a lot. Like just use a little bit like a like cotton swab. Okay. This is what I would suggest is to use this Billy um shaving cream this is a game changer like i know i keep saying that but like these products are really like no joke for real this is a whipped shave cream first of all i love a good shave cream i'm not with that shave oil stuff it's just really not for me but it has an ingrown ingrown prevention in here it has tea tree oil to clarify and then it has witch hazel to calm let me tell you something this will prevent your ingrown hairs if you do what i told you to do exfoliate that area and then you go in and use the shave cream to shave you can do the same exact steps i just told you to but if you are going to use this to get the hairs off um you can just use this after you exfoliate you know do all that good stuff so i really like using beet for my legs and my arms i'm a hairy girl like i don't know if y'all know but i'm a really hairy girl and i hate that for me and it just takes so long for me to like shave my arms and shave my legs. So I end up using this V gel cream to remove all of the hair. This is really good because it's good for sensitive skin. I have sensitive skin myself, so it has never done me any harm at all. And it's actually pretty moisturizing, which is weird, but it is. My skin, like after I use this, it's, it's so soft right now. Like look at my arms. Like y'all can't, I can't, y'all can't even see it. It's just so freaking soft. My legs was super, super smooth. Um, everything is absolutely amazing when you use this product. So I highly recommend if you're one of them girls, like if you like me, <laughs> I recommend. So I was just talking about exfoliation. Let me just talk a little bit more about exfoliation and how I go about that whole process. So before I even use my body wash before I even use my base wash, before I even do anything outside of my feminine hygiene whole spill I go in and exfoliate like I said you would only want to exfoliate your skin up to three times per week because you don't want to over exfoliate your skin you don't want to make your skin raw you don't want to make it like irritated like you just don't want to do that and especially for girls that do have sensitive skin you just don't want to do just don't overdo it it depends on the day but I use two different types of exfoliators I might use a body polish which is this like a dove body polish this one has macadamia and rice milk in it it smells so good and it pairs really really good with this body wash I'm finna show y'all but I will probably use something like this if I need a lighter exfoliation I don't need anything too crazy but I do want to exfoliate my body to just make sure that it's you know soft and hydrated so this is gonna give you that exfoliation and also hydration really really good I love this product if I really feel like I need to get in there I would use um, a body scrub like this I really love this scent this is the cinnamon and dose shea sugar scrub that um, tree hut had for a limited edition during the fall time so i I'm, I'm telling you like i stocked up on this one and it smells so freaking good on a day where i feel like i really need to get in there i would probably do like dry brushing um i would use a dry brush before i even get in the shower if i feel like i need to do a little bit more extra i do have what they call like strawberry legs so on my legs i do have like a little like texture on my legs i wouldn't say acne it's texture on my legs like little bumps so um sometimes i might do the dry brushing before i get in the shower it depends on the day but like i said most times i would just go in with exfoliating with those body scrubs so remember when i said i would come back to this so i would normally use this as a base wash if i needed to a lot of times um i go in and do something like this if it's hot outside like if it's summertime like i really need to i really need to cool down like i would use this as a base wash and then also to just make sure my skin is like squeaky squeaky clean um it just depends on what the heck i was just doing that day 
<laughs> like I will use this as a base wash for sure. But I will always, always, always follow this up with a Dove body wash or a hydrating body wash just because I do have dry skin. This as a base wash on the day, like if I'm trying to go for like a certain smell, I might use a different body wash that I'm gonna show y'all. Or I might just go in with this antibacterial body wash that from dove which i absolutely love i would nine times out of ten i would use this as a base wash itself but if i am using that as a base wash the soap that i just showed y'all then i will go back in with this dove um body wash just to go ahead and bring moisture back to my skin but then also get that bacteria off too soap is really good for cleansing but it's not an antibacterial soap so this is really something that you need to be having in your hygiene closet or in your shower girl antibacterial soap is different from like a regular soap or a regular body wash so even with using that as a base wash i would still go in with a body wash that i'm wanting to smell like i would say this is my like staple scent if you will or my everyday scent like this is really what i be going for for like on a normal regular day i'm not trying to do anything extra i'm actually just going to use this shea butter and vanilla this smells so freaking good like this is really my baby for real so i'll go ahead and use this as a body wash and again this is bringing that moisture to your skin but then it's also giving you a nice scent my skin more soft and i'm looking for like a more soft feel because i'm getting ready to go on a day or whatever like however or if that's how i'm feeling then I'm gonna go in with this Moisture Boost. I really, really love this from Dove Body Love Collection. They really did their big one when they came out with this one. And I talk about this all the time and I'm gonna keep talking about it cause y'all need to know, okay? But this is the Hyaluronic Serum. Yeah, or it has Hyaluronic Acid in there. So it, ha it has a Hyaluronic Serum inside of the body cleanser. And this has my skin feeling so freaking soft, so hydrated, like the whole body on glow. I'm not lying like it's no cap and i do love this because it has no sulfates no parabens it's a plant-based cleansers in here um it's ph balanced and it's very very gentle on your skin i don't know if y'all can see that but yes it has all of that right there just showing y'all i love using products that are clean products that are good for your skin i do not play around another thing that i might just use on a random day is this coconut miracle oil this is really good it's sulfate free surfactants that are in here it does have a coconut but vanilla bean type of scent to it and when i tell y'all this smells so good like this is really my baby so for moisture um it depends on what scent i'm going for for the day i'm really not gonna lie to y'all um, if I'm just going for like a regular wash, like if I just use my antibacterial soap and Dr. Bronner's and all that good stuff, and I'm not planning on putting on a scent or anything, use a regular lotion like this one, this Jergen Skin Firming Lotion. First of all, this is so freaking hydrating. Like, y'all know how sometimes y'all put on lotion and then after you put on the lotion, you back ashy like later on. Like, no, this is really, really good. And it tells you down here, like this is a 24 hour moisturizer in here. Um, this does have some nice oils in here it, and it has elastin and collagen in here So it just has my skin feeling super hydrated really really good So I'll use that on a regular day, babe now on a day when I'm trying to have a little bit of scent to me EOS 24-hour moisture um, Vanilla cashmere again, like I said, this is my staple scent like vanilla is like a staple scent for me And it's just something for me to smell like something when I want to smell like something but not giving too much you know what I'm saying like I don't know like this is just me I don't know so um I really love this not just for the scent itself but because it's super hydrating it has shea butter in there and it has seven oils and butters inside of here not just the shea butter not just the shea butter what am I talking about not just the shea butter and it's super super lightweight it's not oily it's not like heavy it's not like sticky it's not greasy like this is a real good lotion like when EOS made this product they did they big one okay so I'll go ahead and use this on a day when I'm using shea butter and vanilla body wash you know what I'm saying so when I'm just like like want to be extra I might use a body butter from so de janeiro something like this and this smells so good like I'm not this Brazilian bum bum cream this is really it remind me of summertime I'm not gonna lie to y'all like if I feel like I want to do like something extra I might put on these types of body butter just because it gives it it's, it's layering on scents. so if you catch my drift with everything that I've explained thus far I'm I'm a layer queen like I like to layer on these scents and just make sure that I smell good all day like 24 7 you know what I'm saying speaking of 
smelling good. Let me tell you something. After I get done with my lotion and figuring out the scent that I'm going for, and my perfume, like I will use a perfume and I will use a mist. I don't overdo it. This is how you don't overdo it, sis. Let me tell you something. With a perfume, I might use this Sol, um, the Sol de Janeiro Chirosa 62 perfume. They do have this. I like using this when I do use a vanilla cashmere body lotion or when I use this. It, it depends. It depends. But I like using this on a regular day that I want to smell like something but not giving too much. And so when I do use this, I spray it on my pulse points areas. I do not spray this like I would spray a mist. So I would spray right here, right here behind the ears maybe and then in the inside of my ankles that's where I would and it smells so freaking good but that's where I would spray this at and then um after that I will go in with the um Shiroza 71 this one is the caramelized vanilla and macadamia scent this smells so freaking good with this perfume or the Shiroza 62 one but I found that this mist smells appears really really good with that um perfume so I'm not gonna lie but the way that I will go about this mist is I will spray it in my hair because I love like my hair. I just love my hair smell good. So I will spray it in my hair like do two sprays around like this. Okay. I don't do nothing too crazy. And then I will go and spray like this in a zigzag area all over my body. Nothing too crazy. So it will probably be like one, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. That's it. So top, bottom. That's That's how I would do it. I'm a layer queen and like I said, it's not too much. It might sound like it's too much, but I promise to God, it is not too much. The same thing with this, depending on if I wanted to go for like a different smell for this day, I might use the Brazilian Crush 40, which smells absolutely amazing. I just actually went to Sephora and re-up, so this is a new bottle, but I will go in with this and then I will go in with the Burberry Her Elixir and do the same exact thing that I just like the same method I just told y'all to just make sure that the scent stay on me all day and I smell freaking good all day I'm telling y'all right now that works the, the method I just gave y'all it works and making sure you pair your body lotion your body wash with your scent I'm telling y'all the thing that I do and I think that a lot of people don't even think this far <laughs> But I'll be going deep, like into like real deep. Okay, so let's get into the deodorant. As y'all know, if you don't know, now you know. I love the Dove Zero Percent Aluminum Whole Collection. They are absolutely amazing, and the scents that they have is Chef's Kiss. I used to love using this Dove Zero Percent Aluminum line that they do have, um, and I love this scent, the pomegranate and lemon. The coconut and jasmine scent smells really, really good. And a fresh scent is the cucumber and tea. Absolutely amazing. When I switched to 0% aluminum, I switched to Dove 0% aluminum. And I didn't have to do a detox or anything, girl. And this absolutely works. So if you're looking to switch over to 0% aluminum, go with Dove 0% aluminum. And I do have sensitive skin. And this has never, ever, ever messed up my underarms ever. But if you ever get to a point where you feel like you need to tone underneath your underarms, you can actually use um, this. So this is a glycolic toning solution. This, I use this for, I did, I actually did a video. I'm going to um, post the a link up here somewhere I don't know on which side of the screen is gonna be on but I did do this for seven days and I gave you all the results of what happened after seven days I really really liked using this but girl I found another alternative and it works instead of doing all them steps for your underarms and let me tell you something I didn't even use I'm gonna let y'all go watch the video I'm gonna let y'all go watch the video because I don't even want to tell y'all exactly what's in that video. Go watch that video. I'm telling y'all right now, you're gonna be so shocked about what you find about using glycolic acid on your armpits. You're, it's gonna blow your mind. This is their new collection that they do have, the Dove Zero Percent Aluminum, but it is also called Vitamin Care. So this is aluminum free. And it actually has vitamin B3, which is niacinamide. So this deodorizes, it helps repair the skin barrier. It helps even the tone under your arms. So with the steps that I had to take before with using the glycolic acid, going through that whole thing, and then after I'm done with the treatment, just start using my deodorant back again, I don't have to do that with using these deodorants. And when I tell y'all they have the best scents right now, this coconut and shea, 
I use this on a regular day, especially when I'm using my Shea and Vanilla or when I'm using my Cocoa and Coconut Body Wash from Dove. Um, this pairs really, really good, and it smells so good with that. So I, I end up doing that. I love pairing my deodorant scents. I'm just going to, the cat's out the bag. I love pairing my deodorant scents to how I'm going to be smelling for the day. That actually helps you smell good all day. I'm not lying. I'm not lying, girl. Because on a day when I want to, like, smell, like, sweet, I'll use this raspberry and rose. And this smells good. When I was using the 0% um, Dove collection, the other one that I just showed y'all, I would use that pomegranate and lemon and pop that baby right on and the scent is scenting together. If you get what I'm saying. So I feel like this is a game changer too. This is a two in one and it actually smells good. So start pairing your deodorant to your scents and that's going to help you smell good all day. As far as my lips, um, I'm not... I normally like put on a lippy after I get done with brushing my teeth. So I would always use this lip sleeping mask. And even though it says it's a sleeping mask, I use this after I brush my teeth in the morning and at night. I don't even care. I feel like, but it probably doesn't, but I feel like it gives my lips like a plumping effect. Not that it feels like it's plumping, but it looks like it's like more plump, if you get what I'm saying. Um, this, I got this from their Halloween collection, and this smells so freaking good. And I like to use this when I'm trying to smell like a snack, girl. I might put this, put this on. This is what it looks like in here. And so y'all see I use it a few times. And honestly, this, um, I, I didn't know or I couldn't really tell if... It had a, a slight tint in it before when I was using the lip sleeping masks that were pink. And I used a purple one and I couldn't even tell y'all if it was like tinting or not. But when I finally did put this on, I was like, oh yeah, it's definitely a tint. So it gives you like a brown or a nude tint. It's super, super cute. And I feel like you can use this on top of like a nude combo if you do something like that. Chef's Kiss. It smells so good too. So yeah. I am actually done with this video. If you guys liked it and you feel like this was very informative, make sure you leave a comment down below for your girl. Share this video with your family and your friends, whoever you feel like can benefit from this video. And make sure you hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed, girl, so you can become a bestie. And I love y'all so much. Thank you so much for tuning in again. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.